Alright folks, welcome to another update on No One Lives. Um, I'm now including it in a folder, file folder that will be uploaded onto uh, Google Docs and from there you'll be able to get a copy for testing and for, uh, a, you know, this is so I can get a lot of feedback from you guys. Uh, so far I have not done a, a ton of work on the maps I've been doing primarily work on the mechanics so you just unzip the file folder called no one lives and once you get it unzipped inside of it you'll see this information right here you just copy it and uh, you know put a shortcut on your desktop and you can play it you don't need to install it you don't need to do anything just play it test it out and give me feedback I I really need a lot of ideas for the maps as I'm building them uh, to help increase the storyline. Um, let's see. So, that said, we'll go ahead and get started. I'll let you guys watch the movie if you haven't seen it already. Get something on your feet now. Hey, I didn't even get any sleep last night. Listen, we're leaving this house in one minute. Please. Look, grab a jacket and a pillow and some water. Hey, hold on. I... Listen, there was a terrorist attack a few minutes ago. It's spreading a virus. People are going crazy. The lines are dead. The States is under a biological warfare attack. Just moments ago, there were two major explosions in the downtown Los Angeles area that deployed an odorless mist or vapor. Please be advised, the footage you're about to see illustrates the immediate effects of the airborne toxins. I've been told that the video is disturbing. The authorities are asking everyone to...
as you can see, the game starts out 18 hours later. I'm probably going to leave it that way. Um, and you can now see that uh, when you start at your main menu, I'm probably going to I'm definitely adding at least a character selection screen, if not a character creator right here uh, on this on the menu. Okay, in the main menu from here, you can now see that uh, resolution 4K has been added. Uh, full screen on blah blah uh, and you can apply and change your settings you can also change it when you're in game uh, the one map I've been working on is the single player map so that's the one I'm primarily going to show you if you want to experiment with the other ones they're pretty much to show you the mechanics and what is possible I can change a, a ton of things though uh, so that's it. We'll go. Oh, there's going to be a server browser right here. I just got to add it uh, for multiplayer. I haven't added the multiplayer in Steam for this yet, but I'm going to. Um, so let's go check out the server browser. I still need to add music right there. And next load. stop, 14th Street Station, servicing 12th Street, 14th so. Street, Main, and Hanover. As you can see, you now have a flashlight. And I'm attached it to all the guns. Uh, you can also see that I've changed it to nighttime. And did a lot of work on the textures. Again. Huh. The zombies are working. Still need to do some work on their animations for dying and uh, their attack animation, but they can still hurt you right now. And if you aren't careful, they can get on the train. assassinate people. You can hit V to roll, or you can slide, if I can pull it off. Um, it, uh, what do I have to do I think it's control and space at the same time. Anyway, you can sprint. Uh, if you hit T, T, yeah, T, you can uh, kick. If you hit middle mouse, you can uh, pistol whip. Yeah, 
to be careful because there's a lot of zombies on the path here. I could help us out with that sound. Thank you here. Good shots. Um, here's another one. Can't go in the diner, but there's some going on. Somehow I made double doors there. Started adding more vehicles. As you can see. escape and bring up the uh, one second brings up the server browser and this is the pre dude for a group joiner and from here you can access your options and whatever next else. stop 14th street station service plus plus street, 14th street main and app. you can also hit tab and uh, you can now bind your keys I have not uh, got it for the primary movement, but I've got to work with the jump and crouch right now, so, and I've got to add some more nodes and lines of code to it. Like I said, you can hit backspace right here and get past the cutscene. F for flashlight. You gotta watch the automated turrets. Shots are most effective. Um, the zombies, especially. I uh, made it that way. Explodables.
street lights work. So really to give you guys a feel for the play, how it's gonna end up being. Um, I do need to go a little bit more. Yeah. that constitutes a pretty good overview of where we're at on no one lives or where I'm at since I'm the entire development team right now uh, if anybody wants to contribute or help I do need a lot of feedback on uh, ways to build cool storyline stuff into the maps so if you guys got any ideas let me know so I can add it in there uh, maybe come up with something cool 
Um, that said, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. I uh, hope you plan on keeping up with it. I'll, I may or may not release one more free alpha version. I'm going to post the, the link so that you can pick up a copy of this version right here. And that's pretty much for mechanics. But remember, the only map that I've really worked on is the single player map. Alright, you guys have a great day. Hope you enjoyed it.